like I promised I have my special guest in the building ready to talk to you ready to tell you about herself her music her new EP that's out already so we're gonna usher in Miss Amelia how are you doing this morning hi I'm fine thank you I'm very excited to have you in the studio can you tell Yes. <laughs> First of all, I want to just make sure I'm pronouncing your name right. Yes, you are. You are. You are. So it's Amea. Amea. Have yes. you ever heard anyone yes. butcher oh your name? Yes. Oh my God. Different type of. <laughs> Which what's Amiya, the wildest one? There's Amia. There's Amaya. Amaya. There's Hey. Amaya. Amaya. There's Where is the? Wait, so the E is just like the E is invisible. <laughs> we want to get to know you. Quick mm -hmm. dive into who you are. What made you go into music? And then some of this music that you're putting out, it just sounds very like floral, very nice, very mm. girly for the girls. Mm -hmm, yeah, for the what girls. What inspires all of this? To be frank, I never really wanted to do music. Really? Yeah, I wanted to do fashion. I was a makeup artist. Twinning, twinning, yeah, twinning, twinning, twinning. twinning, twinning. <laughs> I wanted to be in that fashion world, but mm. I was also by the side singing, like doing background vocals for like other artists. And just watching them, you know, being the limelight and everything, just kind of inspired me to do my own thing. At what age did you know I can sing? Well, I mean, I joined the choir at a very young age, when I was like seven. Oh, so wow. I, I don't know if I could really sing as I back then, but... <laughs> they yeah, told I was you trying, that. I was trying. You sound nice. Was... Did you ever doubt that you sounded good? No, I don't think I ever doubted. It was just one time when I lost my voice. I think that oh was 2018-ish. Uh, and I had like a vo vocal difficulty that I couldn't sing. And then when my voice came back, it came back sounding very, very different. Hmm. So it kind of made me feel some type of way, like lose my self-confidence in a way. But I was still able to like, you know, find a way to use my voice still. What, what made you lose it? What was what Overused. happened? Ah, yeah. stress stress so it did the it. tone change a bit yeah it changed it came back it sounded deeper my talking voice was deeper singing i had more rasp in my in my voice it came with more texture which is like which is nice it's a win is a win you know yeah. a win is a win <laughs> you'll take it when i was listening to the ep i was like uh -uh, this babe not only does she sound nice you know the raspiness gives it a depth but mm. then your lyrics also give it depth i was like mm, she's kind of like me two of my personalities like love a girl and then baby gangster <laughs> is that true am i close well i mean i love love like yeah. i'm full of love I don't know if I'm a gangster shy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I'm trying. What you say? I I know they try. Yeah, like, yeah, it's like you know, I mean? you know, I'm just trying to you know be vocal. You know, I'm doing my best. I'm trying, I'm trying to let you know. You know, but I don't. I don't. I wouldn't really say I'm like baby gangster, but just like trying to be vocal about like how I feel. Speaking of vocal about how you feel, I want the people to get to know more of your music. So we're going to play this particular song. I love it. It's on the EP. Okay. But I want you to introduce it. It's Worth It. So how would you introduce oh Worth It? Oh my god. Worth It is my favorite song on that. Really? On that I see. Like, every single time I find someone that likes that song, I'm like, thank you, it. Jesus. One more person one into the kingdom of God. <laughs> I was so excited because that song is so personal to me. I started the production of the song. Really? Yeah, before my producer, PD, finished it. So it's like I already knew what the song was going to sound like even before I had finished it. I knew how I wanted to write it. I knew how I wanted it to sound. I knew I wanted the, the beat and everything to sound like raw. Mm -hmm. You listen very well. Like you hear my voice in the, in the beats. Like I use my voice. Oh wow! I didn't even realize business. that. Yeah, so it's like a full like creative song for me, and the lyrics is quite personal too. So we're gonna listen to it. Here is "Worth It" by Amaya. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Sometimes you gotta do a little stalking, right? <laughs> and I realized at the top of the year you were giving the Lulu vibes. You know? Uh, it was like a little yeah. delusional. <laughs> and then now people. we see you blooming into a flower. I think it takes a bit of delusion to like get to your dreams. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, it depends on what you're being delusional about. Reality will always be reality. True. Yeah, even if you're trying to delude yourself into something you still have to like come back to reality and be like oh, this is what it is you know 
but i mean for the blooming part i i think that was inevitable mm -hmm. because i had already done so much of self-work on myself and if i did not bloom i would have just put myself back into the ground yeah. because like why yeah yeah so for for that aspect of my life i think yeah being delusional was like important at that time yeah i think some people will tell you like being delulu just made me hold on to my sanity a little bit right and then push forward mm. but then it can have its cons because it's like mm. you need step into reality to actually chase your dreams yeah it ha it's in reality it's not in the fantasy yeah land. it's not in the fantasy so amaya has an ep out right now you know it's called like a flower yeah. it's it's truly like a beautiful body of work i've listened to it top to bottom and um if you're listening right now you haven't heard it you need to go and check it out it's available on the streaming platform so you can actually go stream it buy it whatever it is mm -hmm. now one of my faves on this ep is called pressure oh Ooh. this speaking on the right it, songs <laughs> honestly it's my jam you know what i'm gonna tell you how i feel about it after we play it okay so we're gonna listen to it here is pressure by Amaya. love it love it keep rocking to it inspired this song so <laughs> i'm getting if you want it if mm. you want me you yeah, gotta apply you pressure gotta, yeah it was like i was just looking mm. at the situation i'm like ah, but you know like deep down inside of you you yeah. know that you want me why not just try just yeah. you know why are you playing games? So why, I could be your treasure. Do you understand? Love me. Love me. Choose, Choose me. me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now I know you're a Shonda Rhimes baby. Mm. Moving on into this song, when I heard it, I was like, this baby is giving me like UK R&B girly. Mm. Is this Georgia Smith? And I was like, no. Is this Mahalia? I was like, no. And then I found out you were in Niger, babe. I could have sworn. I was like, no, she's not Nigerian. She's British. She's British R&B. She has elements of like house, EDM, oh and then she God. has Afro beats in it. Then I found out who you were. I was like, this baby's Nigerian. You scammed me. You're very, very Nigerian. <laughs> you scammed me. And then I scrolled on your TikTok. <sighs> and I said, I was going to ask you this question. Akara. Really? <laughs> really akara why are you laughing why are you laughing? if you don't know what i'm talking about if you follow amaya on tiktok oh she posted this rant where she was like she's gonna sell akara if this thing is not working i'm telling you at this point i think i'll just start frying akara there's this really nice spot in front of my parents house hmm? i feel like if i set up an akara stand there I'll sell, I can sell like 50k every day. I can do every evening. You know, I can make my own difference. No people sell a car in the morning. I can sell my own in the evening. I can do every evening. I don't know maths like that. 50,000 times seven in a week. I think, I think, I, I think I, I'm onto something here. Because like, ah. I give you my best, I dance, I sing, I do all these things for you people on this social media. But yeah. you guys are not giving me my flowers. <laughs> no, but you know, that's why we're here. We're yeah. gonna give you your flowers. Mm -hmm. We love your music. I think it's Stella, which is one of the reasons why I was like, I need to have you on here because people need to listen to this music. It's quality music. My first experience with you was the song Too Much. So for you, what was that song like? It was a fun process. I made that song with Mr. Soul. Shout out to him. Shout out Mr. Soul. Yeah, I was at the studio. We're supposed to work, but for some reason there was no inspiration so we're just downstairs just then and then i think i said something like is it too much to ask is and he was it? like you know what <laughs> hold that thing in your mouth let's go upstairs to the studio that was how we just made the entire song that is moment. it too much <laughs> <laughs> yeah. what do you want to mm -hmm. say to the people that are listening right now that don't know me yet or are hip are following already okay um i mean first of all i like to like appreciate everyone for listening to my music and for writing big pearl yeah i mean it's not easy this industry <laughs> is quite saturated <laughs> and it's, it's it's not easy to like stand out but like i've I've had people who've like been there for me from the start and i'm very very grateful to them grateful to my team and everyone in the team 
yeah Number just two. want to tell them to keep listening to my music and expect more from me because i'm not gonna give up anytime she's soon. not giving up anytime <laughs> soon yeah i love that those are great parting words mm -hmm. but before you do leave i wanted to outro the lovely interview and of course intro the song too much okay 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 hey everyone my name is amaya and the song you're about to listen to is called too much period period baby can you hold me down is it too much to ask?